Hello, everybody. Welcome to Highly Reactive. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means a lot to us. My name is Lee J over there, Stan, and we are two life coaches from the UK, and this is our reaction channel. We've only recently been bringing our life coaching prowess and expertise after many years into our reaction channel. We made the decision that we'd do it so we could help people out in the world, and you can always click on our links and emails down below if you want that help. It's down there, and all you've got to do is email us, and we can help you. But today, the main man, it's Ren. It's hi, Ren, and today we were doing a reaction slash revisit and breaking it down more of an analytical way yes i tell you something we have been absolutely pumped for this one we are of course the uh, founding fathers of lead visions coaching um and i'll tell you something mate, we absolutely love ren we are massive ren fans yes we listened to this song well over a year ago i haven't heard it in absolute ages but now our, like we've been developing our knowledge it's always good to do like a revisit and just sort of look at it with a fresh mind as well so don't forget though support to ren hashtag ren down in the comments below if at any point you enjoy myself and lee j let me make sure you like it sub it love it let's go with the show lee j Ugh. oh i know this is gonna be a tough one to analyze as well because it is the perfect song it for is it the perfect song getting nostalgia as well remember the first time we did it i know this is so long yeah it has been a while since i've heard it as well I just wanted to point out that there is like a meditation. It is holistic as anything. His voice, considering it's a male voice, the way he does it. And me and Stan are not big fans of like male voices with the high octaves on it. But he is just beautiful on that. It's so relaxing. It's so down to earth. It starts the song off in exactly where the direction is going. You know, it makes you feel like, okay, I'm listening. I'm calm. What have you got to say? Love it. Yeah, and do you know what? it's been about 14, 15 months since we when we actually heard this song live on this channel. That'll be the well, be, I'll be what's carded up above and probably the end screen as well um, for our first ever reaction to this. Um, and I'll tell you something, I know what's coming, and I like, I just, oh, I'm so excited, Lee J. Like, it's just bloody great on the lyrics, yeah. Yeah, it's actually really focus. Hi there, Ran. It's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back. Deep down, you know that. Deep down, you know my mum is in periphery. Ran on your pleased to see me. It's been weeks since we spoke, bro. I know you need me. You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd. Not your place to lead me. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Ran. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much, man I think we need to just step back and chill Ren, you... It's such a good thing to hear that sort of sentence right there That I don't need you more anymore, man Like, because at the end of the day His, if you'd like to say the dark side of Ren You know, the the inside thoughts The inside neuro... So, neuro... Neuro... neuro well, I did this one Neurologic... His like neurological side to him, which is telling him like, no, you know, you need to listen to me, all these bad thoughts because of his illness, etc. But then he's got his other side to him, which he stopped. He's asked that powerful question. He said, look, actually, Ooh. I don't need you. Why do I need you? I'm doing OK by myself. My therapist told me I'm ill. I don't need you. That's so, so powerful. And I can just imagine yeah. the message it sends. Yeah. And do what's, do what's what's crazy mate is like pretty much everyone everyone i know everyone probably you back at home as well you will have these voices as well like everyone's got them this is obviously pull it to an extreme rent like a very high case rate but you've all got someone you know you think 
you know, or like public speaking or something, it's going to be like, oh my God, like they get nervous, a bit sweaty and that, like, you know, those public, those inner thoughts are telling them they're going to mess it up. They're going to reread the, the, read the lines wrong. They're going to do something. They're going to fart on stage or something. You know, we have these inner thoughts that just like will knock us down. And I love Ren's symbolization of this track where he's challenging it. He's arguing with it. He's like, hey, oh, no, man, I don't need you. Yeah, mate. I love that, mate. I love it. Love it. We need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program, rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered. For doing something special with myself. I just noticed That's something. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Because when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate yeah. me? I am you. You are me. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed this or brought it up in the Ren video, but I've literally just noticed it. So when the demonic side of Ren talks, the light flicker, almost like the, the demon inside the room, like a ghost, like an ambience that shouldn't be there. But then when the good side of Ren talks, the light doesn't flicker as much. I think that's so... Like, honestly, I have never seen a video about it. That is just generally me noticing it for the first time. And I think it's so powerful because when I was just... Again, the life coach, um, me and Sam have done a lot of life coaching ourselves. It's really opened our minds and like how happy you can be. And sometimes I just look into things now and see things so much more clearly and that one was just it just i was like that's it resonated with me now that light flickering so powerful such a message yeah and do what mate it's a good spot mate for me mate i just like the i like the camera angles mate i like the head twist i like the tone of his voice how it changes to that sort of more sharp turn when he's like the evil side because it's like more like in your face sort of thing like really and it's so then when he's on the, the gentle wren side it's so calm and happy and like a little bit desperate like a little bit of desperation in his voice and a bit innocent so to speak yeah. i think as an artist, he's nailed it, and do he deserves the success he has. And we have said that, like, if you look for our range, he deserves more. Like, oh, yeah, like we we are big. We, well, what well, he's an artist at the end of the day. He is yeah. definition of artist and inspirational. That's William we Shakespeare him. reincarnate. <laughs> Talk, man. Because when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting, and the people who find it find respect it. it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound Good. so pretentious. Ren, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky having me inside you to guide you, remind you, you to manage you, expectations, man. provide you perspective. That thing you neglected, I get it. You wanna be a big deal? Next Jimi Hendrix for. Oh, stop. Oh, <laughs> That's a lot. Of I know, mate. I mean, I mean, this was like the second ever run song we heard. Um ever and it was it still blows my mind like like he made it to number one still like even with like these thoughts obviously ren is very personal he's and like a lot of people struggle with this like a lot of when you when they come see like a therapist or they come see a life coach it is you have to be 100 percent open with your thoughts your emotions your feelings you have to open up to these sort of that and we as like the life coaches we like open our lives up to the client as well to let them show they're not alone it that we you know it's a safe space and like what i appreciate about artists like ren mate is that they're doing it for the world to see, they are doing it and putting like the soul, his soul on the line um, to ridicule, to judgment, you know, to praise. Like he, he does it, and he and he overcome those negative thoughts, mate. And he still pushed out this absolute banger of a track, mm. beautiful EJ. We see it with clients all the time, right? You can hear, you can watch them. When you ask them a question, you can watch this happen because they'll sit there and they'll say, for example, they might be like, yeah, yeah, well, I really want to lose weight. Uh, but the thing is, right, it's just like because of work and stuff, you can almost hear the inner voice within them. You know, they'll be like, yeah, I really want to lose weight. And they're really intrigued and like really there, like that side of Ren. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, but actually, you know, because of this going on. And then you go, oh, what, why are you so scared of that? And they go, because of this. And then all of a sudden you'll see the other side of them again. And they'll go, but I really think I can do it. It's just how life works. Our brain is split into two. Is a reason why we argue with ourselves. The biggest battle that we can ever fight is within ourselves. And Ren showing that in this video. It's beautiful.
Forget it. Man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with his subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original. You criminal rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success. That's already his internal stuff material. hurting him. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't game. need you. I don't need to hear this. Because I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great And I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth Your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you Say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus <laughs> Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside News flash. Such a big moment this is. The moment where basically the fight is almost like the dark demon is taken over. You know, he said, Look, I'll kill you. I'll take you. I'll take you out. I'm in control. And the dark demon. Now, this is very important. This is like a very, very interesting moment because this is the bit in a lot of people's lives where they can go left or they can go right. And it's either they go right and they take the, the option of, no, I'm going to stay strong. Or they go the, the other option and then they they give in to these demons and they fall down the path Ooh. and that's when they really do need to reach out for help and i just wanted to take a moment and say if you are in this situation please reach out to us because we want to help as many people as we can yeah i mean it, you know it, we see it all the time people consumed by their own negative side it's certainly happened to us in the past you know it happens you know and we do sort of like try and push through it and you know we we'll talk to each other about it and whatnot so you yeah, play it on lee jay because I, I i'm i love this love this <laughs> Here we go. News flash. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning. Devil. Lucifer and cry, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in a blender. Deceitful pretender. The banished avenger. The righteous surrender when standing in front of my solar eclipse. My name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal. You want to kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Look at the lights, really. Ah. The effects are just perfect. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawned, just as sure as the rainfall soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted. I was made to be broken and beat. I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet. Here we are. And you know me, my will is eternal. And you know me, you've met me before. I think that's such, again, a special moment if no one actually noticed in the actual video. He sat on like a wheelchair, wheeled in, and this is the moment where he starts to fight back. This is the moment he stands up from the wheelchair that he's in. He can now stand on his own two feet, like he said, and he can push forward. This is something that when you listen to, and I know this had a lot of problems with CNN, you know, oh, it's, you know, it's not great for kids, but listen to the message. Yeah, there is some harsh stuff in there. Maybe kids shouldn't hear, but definitely the end of this song is definitely towards the right what we love and what you know hopefully some of our clients watch our videos i'm sure they do and you know this is what we're trying to say to you you know you have to keep on pushing forward because let me tell you something everybody gets broken at one point but you have to be strong enough to fix it you need that resilience yeah and do you know what mate it's one of the more biggest turn-ons mate is that oh, thank you. power that power up mate that fight back that bit where you stand up off that chair you lift your chin up proud and you're like yep i'm going forward i am not defeated like i love that we all love that like you know in the part of movies or songs and it happens to every other person in the world you will have points where you are defeated and kicked down and it's that get back up and 
keep going at it. Absolutely love it. I mean, Ren's whole analogy and analogy uh, that he's put into this track is absolutely fire, mate. He's such an incredible artist. I can't say it enough just how much I love Ren. Like he's absolutely mm. bloody beautiful. And like I said, if you know if this is your first time seeing Ren, like and it has been on this particular channel, <laughs> then uh, we we would both 100% urge you to check out his music. Like 100%, yeah. no, you, no fillers. 100% everything gold. And you know yeah. me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper Cause I stand here beside you today so I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shape So cower at the man I've become Oh. When I sing from the top of my lungs <laughs> That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong Ooh. And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different side As we know, he's going to go into the talking bit now, but I just wanted to point out two things. That is the best way to end a song. It was like shouting almost with a very good voice as in like, I will defeat you. Why am I stand here and prosper today? Because I, you know, I'm standing here. Oh, mate. And then that end bit is like, Woo, all that sort of stuff. It is just, it's just like a powerful end before he then right. talks. And let me just put this out there, by the way, when me and Stan react to this, this was on a million views just about and he was celebrating. It's now on 32. Oh, and job mate 32 million deserved like and many more i tell you that mate that last verse alone is so powerful like some people know me as hope some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope oh mate it is so powerful and like you know people would say to us it was like you know well if you're life coaching why do you do music and that why what's the sort of re the relation to it and it's like because music like this music artists like ren you know they have gone through struggles personal struggles it's not just a funky tune it is so empowering it's Essentially, what we do, this is just in music form. They inspire people. They motivate people. Like, who listens to music when they do housework or, you know, they're driving to work to help them improve focus? Music is just, like, as Ren would say, <laughs> music is God, mate. Music is God. It just, it controls every electron fiber in your absolute very body and soul and and that's why the relation to it is and that's why we encourage it. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. 100%. And only Ren would do something like this at the end as well. It's so powerful yeah. and beautiful. Poem. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare. But there were victims, and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And wow. like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax and I learned to soften and that dance got learned. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget 
we must not forget that we are human beings. That oh, very chills. powerful pose, mate, he does there, look, where he says. We must not forget. There, look. He goes, I must. I must not forget. We must, we not, must forget. not forget. He's he's that's where I think he speaks to you lot out there that listens to Ren. He speaks to me. Like I remember the first time listening to this song at that time I was going through some struggles, obviously with my heart, etc. I thought there was no light at the end of the tunnel. I thought I'd never have a lovely beer again. I'd never be able to have a decent job again. I'd never be able to buy my own house. All these things I'd never thought I'd be able to do. And I listen to people like Ren. I'm not saying that Ren you know life coach me and that was it you know obviously i did have to reach out to a life coach but ren was definitely the pathway and like he said the lesson learned sort of thing you know like it was difficult but it was able to prevail to things these sort of messages in my head that just told me instead of me thinking negatively i was thinking positively and that is exactly what ren's just done there but instead of say when he said i and then he said no we must not forget that's how i felt he said it like we together as human beings he is such a beautiful soul everything up to where we've enjoyed money game to three the struggles you know i hope he comes out with more stuff like this because ren helps so many people out there and i just don't think he gets enough credit for it he does get credit but i think he needs so much more credit when i watch his video it breaks my heart a little bit when i watch his videos and he's got maybe a million views or something i'm thinking this this guy needs like he should be listened by by 10 million youtube Come on, man, snap it up a little bit and send this guy out to more audiences because they need to hear people like Ren. Yeah, and do you know what, mate? I haven't got much to add that I haven't covered or that you've covered on the analytical side. But I tell you something, it was an absolute pleasure coming back to this video because this is like where we first really got to dive into the life and soul of Ren. And you think about the journey we have. I like those that came from Highly Reactive. Um, you know, back when we first did this reaction, we know we've done a, pretty much most of what Ren has put out. And, you know, see, watching chapters one to eight, you know, troubles and that, you know, we like, now we know Ren a lot more. It just felt like this one had so much more to give doing it this way than when we first did it. We were completely blind. We only ever heard Sick Boy. We knew he had some problems with Lyme disease and that was, you know, learning the arts. We didn't even know he played guitar until we heard this song. Um, so it, do, it deserves that extra view for us coming back and it's been an absolute bloody pleasure just all i want to say is like ren is an absolute spiritual spiritual soul um and he, he deserves the respect and love at the end of the day but of course ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy this reaction slash review slash analysis then make sure you leave that thumbs up button hit the subscription and ring the notification bell for highly reactive reactions thank you very much for giving us your time it's been a pleasure certainly as lee j it really has ladies and gentlemen don't forget to support the artist with hashtag ren down below it really will help the artists out and don't forget as well if you do want some help you want to reach out because if you don't reach you won't be able to grab that help so you can reach out to us by leaving the it's an email down below uh, you can click on that email or copy and paste it and email us as well and it'll be a sooner website up and running we're just in the beta stages at the moment so you can use that we will get you to that success that you want to be whatever that may look like thank you so much for watching we're highly reactive but oh. you are certainly highly amazing never forget